Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 11th, 2020. So yesterday we had another day of strong bullishness with a little bit of shift into, um, well, out of tech and into more industrial and um, uh, manufacturing type names, which led the market higher, um, substantially higher yesterday. And this morning we are looking at more bullishness. So how about we buckle up, settle in, and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we got news um, from Russia last night saying that they believe they have a vaccine, a workable vaccine in uh and the market is extremely ex inspired by that, even though we know there's going to be a lot of testing and time that'll pass before something like that could be approved. We are moving up sharply this morning. We have a bullish chart where we have moved up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight days in the Dow. S&P 500 yesterday finished up its seventh straight day higher. And we continue to push this morning with a gap up open. Dow futures are now indicating a substantial gap up of about 270 points. And that may be just what the doctor ordered to lift the S&P 500 to new record highs. We'll take a look at that in a minute all bulls all the time one thing we do have to remember that anytime we have this many days straight up at any point in time we could run into some profit taking and that likelihood of a rest or a pullback continues to grow as we continue to stretch this market out so watch that carefully but bulls are certainly in control and if we pull this back notice that um, the Dow itself is pushing into a resistance zone right up here in the chart. So this morning we're pushing right up into that resistance zone. We'll want to watch that carefully this morning as we drive on higher. Um, everything technically is bullish here in the chart. In fact, there's no signs of any selling anywhere. 50-day moving average is now solidly above our 200-day moving average, and everything is firing on all cylinders. Bulls just cannot stop, will not stop. Um, it makes no difference what price the stock is. They just continue to buy. So um, as we continue to extend, we have to be a little bit cautious and careful, remembering we don't want to be chasing stocks well within their move. We want to remember a pullback or a rest could happen at any time. So we need to stay very focused to the price action and flexible just in case, because we could still get more news out of Congress. Congress is still wrangling over whether or not they're going to get a stimulus built together and remember the market loves that money printing so if we get a deal and news comes out about that no reasonably we can't inspire this market higher still continuing to stretch this out so both sides we have to watch very very carefully and not be lulled to sleep that the market will never come down because trust me there will be a day when it does and we'll want to watch for that carefully and remember to take those profits let's take a look at the spy SPY very very strong this morning and I'm going to go to um, this chart right here and I want you to notice that we are very very close to new record highs less than one percent and this morning if you notice we're going to gap up here to very very close to that new record high print so a little bit of follow through a little bit of push to the upside could be um, um, in order today as this bullishness continues to um, drive us higher this will be the eighth straight day up in um, the s p 500 and one of the things we have to remember that running into um, all-time highs could trigger that catalyst of a little bit of profit taking a little bit of pullback in the market 
Not saying that it will, but it could. So we want to make sure and pay attention to that as we reach up there. Gap ups to new record highs always makes me a little bit nervous and that possibility that we get that pop and drop pattern where we gap up, pop up, that's the end of it and then profit takers come in. So always be watching for that possibility as we gap up to new record highs. Let's take it or new market highs uh, for uh, matter of fact. Um, if we take a look at our moving averages, nothing in here is bearish. Everything is bullish except for the potential that we may be just stretched a little bit too far in this move. So we'll wanna watch that closely. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ also, held up pretty well yesterday although it did catch some some selling a little bit of pullback and notice that we pulled back right down into here that little support level um, right here and the bulls pick that back up so we do have that possibility with the bullishness here this morning that we could continue to hold in here and maybe bring those buyers back in on the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at our trend here. And that's something we wanna pay attention to. What this means is we could get a little bit more rest in here before we get um, that bullishness to turn this higher. Maybe it's just that stimulus bill or something like that that could inspire this to move up however one of the things i think we might be seeing here guys is a little bit of rotation and we're seeing a little bit of rotation out of some of these tech stocks that have been very high flying very high priced and maybe rolling over into some other things and i'll point some of those things out as we move along here this morning but nasdaq definitely bullish trends are still bullish there's no reason to believe any kind of major problem is setting up here in the nasdaq just yet let's take a look at iwm iwm had a very strong day yesterday um, continuing to move up multiple days up in this move showing lots and lots of strength in the chart and if we take this line right here let me move this one back so that we can see i want you to notice that we are also approaching a substantial resistance area in iwm so this gap up this morning we're popping right up into that we we'll want to recognize that for that possibility that we could uh, run into to some profit taker, takers or a little bit of a bearish defense up here of that resistance level. So just kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX finally pulling back a little bit, but we still cannot seem to break down below this area. Now, I suspect this morning we're going to get that breakdown. And with this big gap up, we could see that drop through here. Now, what we don't want to see is that pop and drop pattern where we drop through this area and then turn around reverse back up leaving a um, bit of a hammer type pattern on here so let's watch that carefully but right now um, with the bulls pushing the way they are all the hopefulness of vaccines and um, additional stimulus we may slip on below this level and that would be a nice thing to see um, relieving some of that uncertainty in the market would be very very helpful particularly for those that trade options because that volatility has remained so high for so long that um, it would be nice to see some of that beginning to drop out of some of those option prices let's take a look at our um, t21 22 this is the place where we have a little concern t21 22 is the four week new high new low ratio guys if you take this back uh, we can argue with the market as much as we want and we can say oh things like this don't matter when we are extremely bullish but i gotta tell you i've never seen a time when it didn't matter when we have stretched um, rallies six seven eight nine days we can go further than that don't get me wrong but um, just keep in mind that when we reach up here into these upper levels here in t21 22 we typically see some kind of profit taking or pullback come into play within a few days so keep that in mind we are pushing up in this morning the gap up open is likely to peg us right up here at that 100 level um, in the chart so watch that carefully that gives me that idea that uh, uh, 
a uh, pop and drop could be possible, not that it will be there. This is not a prediction in any way, shape, or form. T2122 doesn't predict dir direction. It just tells us when we've reached a point where the buyers may run out of energy. So watch that carefully if we do start um, seeing some pullback here in the market. Let's take a look at T2101. I've been mentioning this lately um, as a bit of a concern as we were rallying, rallying, rallying. Well, the good news is, is that we have seen T2101 turn up here, which is nice. Um, whoops, can't get the tool I want. So nice seeing that it is turning back up, but I want you to notice right through here, we're running into some price resistance in T2101 as well. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, absolute market breadth can actually increase um, dramatically if we get selling a big wave of selling. Um, right now, we've got that buying coming in in different sectors, bringing that up. So keep in mind, this can still move higher even if the market were to sell off. So watch that closely. It just It's that energy of the market that um, provides this um, indicator. So watch that. We could get energy in either direction. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today because we do have something on the calendar today that we'll want to pay attention to for uh, today. And as you can see, we have a PPI number coming out. Now, consensus estimates are suggesting this improves over last month, so that could provide a bit more bullishness to the market um, this morning when that comes out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Also keep in mind we've got a Fed speaker here at noon. We'll want to pay attention. Doubt we learn anything new from the Fed speech, but just something to pay attention to for the day in case there is some news out there. And then keep in mind, tomorrow morning, we're going to get a CPI number. Um, that certainly has the ability to move the market around, so watch that close. On the earnings front, we are finally starting to wind down earnings, but we do have some notables today. We um, only have about 88 companies reporting earnings, so we really are starting to pull back on those um, earnings numbers. And of course, the companies that we hear from are not the kind of companies that typically drive the market dramatically. But a few stocks I wanna point out today that will be reporting today, we have NIO. This has been one of those hot ticket trades here race recently. And this will be reporting this morning and it looks like we're set for a gap up open to um, the highs of this chart. Now I can't tell you if that's going to, if that's the earnings report that's moving it up right now, or if that is just a bullishness in the market, but keep an eye on this as NIO reports today, could be a mover. Um, Canada Goose is reporting this morning. It looks like they're gapping lower this morning. Um, by the way, for those of you that don't use TC2000, these little red triangles right here um, on the side um, indicate the opening bid ask spread. So right now you can see bid ask spread is substantially lower from the close yesterday in Canada Goose. So watch that closely, looking for a gap down. How about HUYA? HUYA um, getting a little gap up this morning, pushing up from yesterday's low. So something to watch. Um, we have MAC that's reporting today. Not exactly, this is a real estate investment trust, not exactly a big mover um, in the market, but take a look at dividend yield on this. Um, this could be one of those safe haven plays and you can see it's gapping up slightly this morning. So something to keep an eye on. Um, SYI, YY is something um, that uh, can certainly move us around a little bit. And it looks like it is gapping up a bit this morning on its report. Um, keep an eye on this resistance in the chart. Looking pretty good. So a few others um, out there to to pay attention to, but um, again, we're kind of through the, the major drivers of those earnings reports. And so I, it would be unlikely to see any of these reports really move the market heavily um, today. So just a few things to make note of. Let's take a look and a few stocks that could be setting up for trades today. 
Um, but before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you feel the video is worthy, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment, I would appreciate it. I'm suffering from a little bit of a... Uh, 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 health problem here this um, last couple of days just a little bit under the weather nothing to worry about just a little bit under the weather and I ended up having to go to the doctor yesterday so I didn't get those comments answered everything is fine nobody has to worry um, nothing no big deal but um, um, I will try to get those um, answered today even though I still feel a little bit sluggish here today under the weather I'll get back to answering those comments. And thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that are setting up. And remember that every time I show you one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is merely part of the education I provide and everyone has to do their own due diligence for every single trade. So kind of keep that in mind when you take a look at these stocks. Let's take a look at Masco. Masco, beautiful chart here. And as you can see, it has been moving up nicely. Um, here in this trend and housing has been very very strong and these are building materials and you can see we've got a nice little run going on here running right through there for that potential bullishness so looking really really good um, in this chart and in this trend take a look at masco um, like that setup take a look at glw glw corning looking very good um, i did see that there was a comment from someone about uh, vaccines and uh, uh, does Corning provide the glass to house vaccines? I'll be honest with you, I don't know, but I do know uh, Corning is um, the maker of Gorilla Glass and it's the glass that we see in all of our mobile devices. Um, very heavily used and anytime we see mobile device purchases going up uh, Corning does very very well and we have certainly seen a surge of um, those device sales moving up as a matter of fact I, I've heard that um, Apple just can't even keep up with the demand of the new iPad so um, struggling to keep up with that right now so corning is doing very very well and could move on higher watch that closely if they produce glass to um to store vaccines or something um uh, that would only be a benefit from there you might have to do a little research to find out whether they do or not I, i'm not sure that they do but th um something to pay attention to um and mcdonald's now mcdonald's has been looking pretty good but i gotta tell you there's a little concern here there's a lot lawsuit McDonald's is in the news here a lawsuit with a former CEO uh, possibly some um, recovery of the company uh, trying to be done we'll want to keep an eye on this but uh, McDonald's popping up this morning here and this has been in a nice bullish pattern made some great money on this last week I will be watching this for a potential re-entry I don't want to chase it but I'll be watching this for a potential re-entry. Keep a close eye on that. That's looking quite good. Uh, Shopify. Now Shopify I've been keeping an eye on, but last couple of days, trading days, it's had a little trouble pulling back. And it's one of those things where we might be seeing some of these high flyers, these um, tech-centric uh, stocks finding a little bit of profit taking coming into them and more of a swing toward um, uh, some of those standard manufacturing type areas. So kind of keep an eye on that, but Shopify may be struggling here just a little bit. And when I say standard manufacturing kind of areas, take a look at some of the old Borings uh, companies like Kimberly Clark. Um, this is one of those old stodgy, boring type companies, but look at that beautiful move here. We're seeing that in several sector areas like that, and we want to keep an eye on those charts. You might also want to keep a close eye on the financials. I'm going to look at XLF here. And I got to admit that I'm a little biased because I hold XLF, but 
um, saw a nice move in those financials. And although there's some tensions with U.S. and China and the global banking environment, we're seeing those uh, financials move up and we're looking at a gap up here this morning. Keep an eye on those. Any rest or pullback in here, um, XLF could definitely be that place um, where we could see some nice growth and a little bit of catching up. And that's what I think we might be seeing is that little bit of shift from some of these tech centric type stocks into more of some of the dividend payer standard, um, standard stocks. Also take a look at energy. Energy enjoyed a nice surge up yesterday um, with the um, realization that folks are starting to get out there and do more traveling. Um, uh, TSA saw um, some new record volumes, uh, you know, since COVID started, and that inspired quite a few things to move higher and also energy. And you can see energy popping up nicely here, gapping up this morning. Had a nice little move yesterday. And by the way, I um, actually hold um, energy, the XLE as well, looking for some longer term trends in both the financials and energy to start moving up. So something to keep an eye on in these charts. Um, seeing some pullback here now, we're a big pullback coming in gold um, this morning. We're going to watch that carefully or want to watch that carefully as we continue to print more and more and more money this could inspire higher but as i was suggesting the last few days i'm expecting some kind of a substantial pullback or rest in here we're getting a big gap down this morning with the us dollar um, enjoying a nice little surge um, overnight so keep an eye on this if we can slide back and uh, drift sideways here in a trend gold still has some upside opportunity as we continue to print money at an unbelievable rate so even though it's pulling back let's watch for that next potential opportunity in the trade big moves in some of these um, um, heavy equipment makers uh, john deere enjoyed a huge move yesterday cmi cummins nice move up yesterday we even saw um, a big move in boeing uh, pushing back up yesterday with the news um, of folks returning to travel so nice move up in boeing it's gapping up again this morning keep a close eye on stocks like that um, also caterpillar um, i need to mention that big move yesterday in caterpillar breaking a substantial resistance area here in this chart so any rest or pullback that holds that support could set up an opportunity so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and i want to wish you great profits in your trading Thanks to everyone for watching. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much to the, for those who click those thumbs up buttons, leave a comment and subscribe. I truly, truly appreciate it. Everyone take care, be safe, have a great day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning.